So, the Titans have returned for a second season, and oh, man, what a cliffhanger we left on there, huh? Yeah, that's right. Trigon had was triumphant and had turned Dick Grayson to evil. And oh, that's where it ended. And then we get the resolution in the first episode, and... Uh, yeah, well, the episode's called Trigon, but... Well, he's not all that. Yeah. Well, you could. He, there is some some bad CGI, but it's just that's as good as they can get for these shows, and I don't really fault him for that. You know, it it, it is what it is. So, uh, besides, he's a weird, uh, what an interdimensional creature. So, uh, what's he supposed to look like? You know, <laughs> maybe he's supposed to look very unreal. Uh, but anyway, uh, this business of the fighting Trigon, which never really happens, is uh, something they just could have tacked on in about, I don't know, a little over five minutes at the end of the last season. Uh, <laughs> because uh, the latter part of the show is just setting up the new season and has nothing to do with Trigon. So Trigon, uh, just all that build up and everything, and it's the end of the world, and... Uh, no, it isn't. So, basically what happens is, uh, so Dick's been turned, and, uh, you know, Raven goes, oh no, and she's trying to fight it all. Uh, Trigon takes her powers away, and so her and Beast Boy are running through the haunted house, <laughs> which is pretty much how Trigon deals with them. And he pretty much puts the other Titans through what took an entire episode for Dick Grayson to go through, where they... They, he puts them in this sort of fantasy world where they live out their revenge fantasy and the choice of whether or not they go through with the revenge is where, uh, what turns them to the dog side. And they all do. They all do. They all, you know, they're killing people. <laughs> Corey kills Raven in her fantasy. <laughs> um, and I guess uh, Beast Boy just didn't have one. They never, they, all they did was the other Titans beat the crap out of him. But uh, he managed to figure out how to turn into another animal besides a, a, a tiger. He turns into a snake. So there anyway, we got that established um, to escape, I guess, or whatever, sneak around. And uh, But the rest of them, they, yeah, they just do what Dick did and his, and they do it very quickly. <laughs> so he didn't have to take as long as it did with Dick. <laughs> and so, oh, so they're all turned and all oh, no, and then um, Tr uh, Trigon turns into his, uh, his demon self and he rips out a raven's heart and transforms it into a jewel that put, he puts on her forehead that this will give her the power necessary to help him destroy the world well by that he's given her, her powers back and so what does she do yeah she uses it on him to send him back to hell <laughs> so uh, but first he kills her mother but she just doesn't seem to be too concerned about that and uh it, it, and oh but how did she turn back yes uh well love you know Love found a way. That's right. Uh, Beast Boy held her hand and said, This isn't you. And uh, because they thought he was dead, I guess, they just forgot to check. And, uh, you know, he turned into a snake and slithered on out of there. Hmm. So, naked Beast Boy, because, you know, he, he, he slithered out of his clothes, so he's naked, uh, holds her hand and she remembers she just wants to be a, a young girl growing up and exploring the world and having friends and family. So, there you go. She uh, uh, wipes out Dad pretty easily, uh, even though he's supposed to be this, you know, apocalyptic monster. Uh, and that was another... I forgive him for the cheap CGI because it's all they can do, but there was a scene where he's walking along, and each step he takes, the grass all dies, and it's all just barren rock. And then when she goes out later on to confront him, well, the grass is still there. <laughs> so... <laughs> Whoops! Uh, so, yeah, so it's over, and then after that, they uh, they have a laugh about it. <laughs> so, and they split up and say, "Yeah, we'll catch up later on." And so Dick goes to uh, make amends with Bruce Wayne. Uh, and boy, I tell you, I, I, when I heard that Lane Glenn was going to be Bruce Wayne, I think, oh, I guess, all right. Uh, I don't know. And in looking at him, I kind of thought. Boy, if they had wanted to do like a Justice Society, he'd make a great uh, Alan Scott Green Lantern. Uh, but, uh, you know, I mean, it is what it is. I don't think he's probably not going to be there 
very much. And it looks like he's only going to be Bruce Wayne um, because it's just a setup where uh, Jason Todd is now a regular, a member of the Titans because Bruce Wayne makes a deal with Dick, says, I'll set you up in San Francisco with your own headquarters, but you got to bring that kid with you because I think you'll be a better influence on him than I am and help him uh, get over his anger and rage issues, which if they follow the comic book, uh, Dick will fail just as much as uh, Bruce Wayne did, and uh, he will become uh, the Red Hood, uh, sort of the anti-hero, a sort of a punisher for the DC universe, if you will. But um, whatever. So, uh, boy, a, a pretty sloppy start for a show that I always thought showed potential and uh, could work, but uh, this is really this is not a good way to start. <laughs> Oh boy! Uh, but the, it, there are some saving grace moments that shows you what it could have been. Of course, Deathstroke. Maybe Deathstroke can save the Titans. Uh, the, the, the scenes they show him. He's introduced. Uh, apparently, he's been in retirement because the Titans once existed before. Uh, and Dick's gonna uh, start with his new team. And once uh, uh, you know, Deathstroke sees on TV the uh, the coverage of their Trigon event that uh, they're reforming and all that, and this brings him out of retirement. Damn it! From his log cabin, and he goes back to uh, get his old suit at his uh, John Wick house. So th that might be, and plus, since he's more of a grounded thing rather than supernatural alien demons or what have you, uh, that requires more effects and whatnot. Uh, having uh, someone that uh, is some, a character that Dick would have to fight uh, and all that sort of thing uh, might make for a, a, a better uh, season. But you, you got you got to deal with the special effects that Starfire will require, and of course Superboy will be showing up. So uh, what are they going to do? Say, oh, he he got a dose of uh, 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 I don't know <laughs> gold kryptonite a little bit, so it didn't take his powers away fully, but almost <laughs> some crap like that. <laughs> and then of course the dog he's got crypto with him so we'll have to see but oh you, you needed a better start than this and you can't just slap job your big cliffhanger and build up like that uh that's that's not very nice because <laughs> if you didn't have anything just end it and the little well we'll try to form a team later and leave that you but if you wanted a cliffhanger but you didn't know uh, what the uh, payoff would be, which was essentially nothing. So, yeah, that's not good. You shouldn't have done it like that. And you can't afford to do that. Because I, I, I'm i wondering if the decision's already made to just scrap this thing, you know, with their HBO Max coming and all that. But, um, yeah, I guess we'll just have to see. We'll wait and see. We'll see what happens. Uh, so there you go. Thank you for watching and listening. Say, why not like and subscribe and while you're here, check out that link description below. That'll take you to my many stores that have plenty of goodies for you.